I'm Donna Carter. I gob off a lot. Um, I write poetry. I perform. I'm an artist. I'm a workshop provider. I'm a feminist, queer woman, an ally. They're some of the many things that I do and encapsulate some of the performance work that I do. I think probably a natural desire for attention as a child and not getting it. I was the apple of my daddy's eye until I was about eight years old and then my baby brother was born and I then had to fight for every bit of attention and care and it drove me into boredom that I'd had when I was younger but by that point I spent an awful lot of time alone so my imagination and my body and me became my entertainment centre um, and it's a joy that stayed with me and has gone to sleep for years and woken up again and now it's awake and it's not going to sleep. The first piece of stained glass that I made, it was at a time that I didn't know I didn't like myself very much and I didn't feel good about myself. And I'd been to Australia and watched some beautiful glass being made and I've been slightly obsessed with glass for a long time because how it feels feminine to me. Um, and somebody showed me the rudimentary instructions of how to make Tiffany glass. It's a technique and I practiced for about half an hour and I made this really dodgy bit of glass that um, I've still got and I still love and that was I think probably over 10 years ago but it was the, the beginning and the opening for me of I can make this, I can do this. So yeah, that's probably one of them. Do it. Just do it. You might feel sick, you might think you're shit, you might think you're not as good as anybody else. All of those things, just allow them either to sit there and give them your fuel or understand that at some point pretty much every performer will have felt one of those things at some point. Um, and not to expect yourself to be a wonderful thespian the first time you get up on a stage and let it be that you're a bit shit now and again and that's okay and let it fuel you and let it drive you and watch yourself back no matter how disgusting it is just do it <laughs> this poem is called oh i'm sorry and it's inspired by a family day out in a local pub the family at the time was myself and my ex-wife and some of our children and the various views and whispers as we sat and ate our dinner. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I too gay for you? Is my flag too loud? Too proud? Do I state my case in your straight place? Ruin your days out with your kids? as I kiss my same sex or trans lover's lips. Would you like me to make myself less obvious, where you would like to be oblivious in your world? Do I offend your sensibilities with talk of liquid silk ease? Tough shit. I'm a queer lady, and baby, I ain't going nowhere. I could pass on by quietly. Make sure you don't notice me. Keep it discreet, lest we meet and you find your excuse a human to beat for difference of you. That I will never fucking do. We gather in rainbows, we gather in voice. You no longer need to invite us. We're giving you no fucking choice. <laughs> <laughs>